I just played through a 10 game season with a brand new offense and I set out to make the most dynamic and explosive deep passing scheme possible. Full of deep shots to put pressure down the field and make it so defenses were never comfortable because of the constant vertical pressure being applied. And I wanted to do this out of two of the most unique formations in the game with both utilizing a stack look, which I think is an absolute cheat code to get your receivers wide open in Madden 23. The two formations are empty tray stack and single back wing stack in the Steelers playbook. I also tracked each play over the 10 games and I have a full statistical breakdown of each so we can get a gauge on how effective each one of these unique setups actually are and you can see how much I called each one over the course of the 10 games. Here we are looking at fade out in empty tray stack and this is a bomb versus cover two and cover three. Here we want the stack to the wide side and then we are going to take the back of stack player and put him on a streak and this is the only adjustment. Now this is a vertical pass concept and one of the best I have used all year to push the ball down the field and create explosive plays. And over the 10 games I played with this play, I went 9 of 13 for 591 yards and 6 touchdowns with no picks for an insane 65 yards per completion. Now against cover 2, I like to look to the wheel on the wide side and as he cuts up the field, the corner will not get hands on him and will let him sprint past him down the field and the safety will get held inside and you can bomb them deep down the field for a huge pickup. And on this route against cover 2, we went 2 for 2 with 127 yards and 1 touchdown. Then against cover 3, we want to look to the other side and we have this outside fade that will get down the field and the corner on that side will get held in by the inside player on the streak and you want to pass lead this ball up and away as much as you can and you can bomb the cover 3 corner over the top for walk-in touchdowns. On this route, I went 7 of 9 for 464 yards and 1 touchdown and we really just completely dominated with this play overall. Now the key to this offense is going to be your QB. This is designed to be an all-out passing attack where we are throwing the rock 80% of the game. So having your reads dialed in to pick the defense apart and to be able to put yourself in the right play call will be massive, but then also having a QB with a big arm and the ability to push the ball down the field in this scheme is a must. So I'm using Patrick Mahomes in this offense and I have pass lead a lead on him to make sure we can get that extra zip on the football. Then I'm also using hot route master. Now this isn't a must use, but there will be a few plays throughout today's video where we will utilize it to make our plays more effective and give us all those extra hot routes. Then throughout this season, Mahomes passed for 1,870 yards with 75 completions on 101 passing attempts. So we were just under a 75 completion percentage showing we had a ton of easy high percentage throws in this offense. But then when you factor in, this meant we averaged 18 and a half yards per passing attempt, you see the explosiveness of this offense almost seems comical. Then over the season, we threw 24 touchdown passes and only five interceptions. So overall, this is maybe the most explosive and dynamic passing attack I have used all year. Here we have PA Steeler Shaw in single back wing stack, and this is used to push the ball down the field versus zone coverage. Now this whole play is designed to get down the field in behind flat defenders for huge explosive pickups down the field. And over the course of the season, I went nine of 14 for 314 yards for 34.8 yards per play with one touchdown and one interception on this play. Now for this play versus cover two have the stack to the wide side and then versus cover three have the stack to the short side and then the other adjustments are the same for both setups. Take the back of stack player and put him on a street then take the outside tight end and if you have hot route master put him on a trail route and if not put him on a shallow cross. Now the key route here is going to be this deep corner. After the play action you will drop back and against cover two you will see the cornerback on that side will stay shallow and the streak will hold back the safety and the deep corner will get wide open deep down the field for a huge pickup. Then burst cover three works the same just now we're working the short side of the field. Now the flat defender will stay shallow and the deep third will get pulled back and you can fire this in deep down the field for a really big pickup once again. Now over the season using just this route I went 8 of 12 for 308 yards with one touchdown and one interception. Then for check downs on this play we have the tight end over the middle and this is a great option if the user vacates the middle of the field and you can pick up some really nice yardage. Then we can also go down to the running back in the flats for another really solid check down option and just let him pick up some yards after the catch. Then the thing that makes this offense so dynamic and explosive is going to be the stack looks that we can utilize. They will give you easy free releases off the line of scrimmage for wide open completions. They can confuse coverage and allow you to sneak your receivers open deep down the field for huge pickups. And these stack looks have some of the most unique and dynamic routes you will see 
anywhere and just route combos that you will not have access to in any other formations. And that is why these stack formations are the key to this explosive passing attack. Next, we have Curl Switch, and this is one of the best man beating plays in all of Madden. This is maybe the most consistent man beater I have used all year. You're going to have five great options on this play that are all very viable to beat man coverage. And this will just give them no easy options on how to shut this play down. And with it, I went 13 of 19 for 217 yards and four touchdown passes with one interception. To set this up, have the stack to the wide side, then take the front of stack player and put him on a corner route. And that is the whole setup. Now, our first read here will be the corner route as he breaks out. And I have route tech or short in elite on him. And once he breaks, he will lose his man coverage and be wide open for a ton of big yards. And this is really my go-to number one option on this play. And just using this route, we went four of five for 137 yards and one touchdown on the season. Then next we can look to the Z post. And if they have no middle deep safety, this player can lose his man coverage and be wide open deep down the field for one play touchdown opportunities. Then we can also look to the trip side. And first we have this whip route. And as he breaks out, he will separate for really easy yards underneath. Then we can also hit this tight end over the middle. And if they bring a blitz or the whole middle of the field is open then you can quick throw this right after the snap then lastly if the user leaves the middle to take the corner route or the z post then this deep dig will break over the middle and it is an amazing way to attack the middle of the field versus man coverage and a great fifth option then as important as the qb is we are also going to want dynamic playmakers at receiver i really go for speed and explosiveness at these spots over size though you can go for either we are going to use them to attack vertical down the field a ton but then we are still going to throw it to them underneath and allow them to get those easy pickups and they're going to be targeting over the middle in those contested catch areas. In my offense, I'm using Tyree Kill, Devonta Smith, and Julian Edelman. And then for abilities, each one has either short and elite or route tech to ensure they can break off from man coverage. And this allows us to shred man defenses whenever we face them. Next, we have the play smash seam and empty tray stack. And this is an amazing man beating play. This is one of the best deep shot one play touchdowns versus man coverage that you will use all year in Madden 23. And you will make so many plays versus the off-man meta coverage that everyone is using, and it makes it almost impossible for them to play these defenses. On this play, we went 11 for 12 for 275 yards with one touchdown and one INT. So for this setup, have the stack to the short side, then take the back of stack receiver, put him on a slant, then take the middle receiver on the wide side and put him on a whip. So the key route here will be this deep corner route and it has a forced outside release. Now this will be a one play touch and against off man coverage. You will see after the snap, your player will get a speed boost out of his cut and totally leave the DB in the dust and you will score huge deep touchdowns. Now this is all about timing. As soon as your receiver gets out of his cut, you just want a bullet pass this in for huge gains down the field. This is going to work amazingly well against zero blitzes or single high defenses where they have no deep safety over the top of this route. Then for checkdowns here, we have this slant breaking underneath, and this is great to get a free release versus man coverage for easy yards. Then we also have this whip route from the slot on the trip side, and as he breaks out, you want to fire this in for easy completions. Then the other two players that will be huge weapons in this offense are our two tight ends. So in our empty formation, they will be the two slot receivers receivers on the trip side and in wing stack they are going to be our two inline tight ends they must be great receiving options and we are really targeting that much more than inline blockers so speed and explosiveness to get open down the field are the key attributes in these two spots and i'm using travis kelsey and Taysom hill as our two tight ends and then once again for abilities i have short in elite and route tech on both them just to make sure we can break off from defenders and man coverage and it is going to make it impossible for defenses to play this style Next, we are looking to play bench corner and empty tray stack, and this is great versus man and zone. This is an amazing chain moving play that allows you to spread the defense out and pick them apart with multiple great options for quick hitters versus man and zone, but this can also allow us to pick up some really big gains down the field. Using this play, I went 15 of 18 for 237 yards and five touchdown passes, and this was really one of my go-to plays in this scheme. For this setup, I have the stack to the short side, then take the middle slot and put him on a whip, then motion him in and take the outside receiver and put him on a streak down the field. Now, first I want to look to the stack and the inside C route. First press man, the corners are going to jam the front player in the stack, allowing the C route to shoot inside and up the shallow seam for a really nice pickup down the field. And this is one of the easiest ways to beat man you will use all year. Then against zone, it can work very similar with the flat defender jumping out to the out route and allowing the C route to shoot
shoot up the seam for big gains. And on this route, I went six for six for 115 yards and two touchdowns. Then we can look to the wide side of the field and these routes are gonna work versus man and zone. Now starting with zone, and this is a flood concept. So read the flat defender and if he stays shallow, then we will just have this corner route busting open along the sideline for a big pickup. Then if the flat defender stays back at the snap, then you can just check it down to the whip underneath. Then versus man, we have the tight end on a corner route and I do have route tech on this tight end and as he breaks, he will get really great separation for a big pickup down the field. Then you can also look down to the tight end whip underneath and this is a really good check down option on this play as he breaks out towards the sideline. Then if you want to take this offense to the next level, you need to check out my website Scheme Kings. Up right now is part two of this video where I will give you eight more plays out of these two formations to allow you to make this into a complete offense with the ability to attack and take advantage of any defensive look that you come up against. And this is really going to make this one of the best offenses you will use all year. Then also on my site are all my past schemes like my NCAA spread offense, my LOB Seahawks defense, and so many more. Also on the site, you can get access to my playbooks, which are full written breakdowns for my schemes with three out so far and the newest being my spread offense that is a 90 page long book. Now, if you want to check out Scheme Kings, I will leave a link for it down in the description below. Next, we have the play PA Power O in single back wing stack. This is excellent to use as a hard play action play off the run game and it has great options attacking the middle of the field versus zone coverage and multiple routes giving us options along the sideline. On this play, we went 14 of 17 for 185 yards and four touchdown passes and only one interception. Now here we want our stack to the wide side, then take the outside tight end, put him on a flat route and that is the only adjustment. So on this play, we want to read the user first and if at the snap he fires down to play the run or he gets sucked down by the drag, then we have this C post cutting in over the middle in front of the safety and you can fire this in for a really nice gain. We went four for four for 164 yards and one touchdown using this route attacking the middle of the field. Then if the user stays back at the snap, then you can check it down to the receiver on the drag underneath for a really good check down option. Then we can also look to the sideline after the snap and read the flat defender. If he stays shallow, then we have this corner route cutting in behind him along the sideline that you can fire in for a big pickup. On this route, we went three for four for 37 yards and three touchdowns over these games and really utilize this a ton in the red zone. Then lastly, if the flat defender stays back, then you can drop it off to the other tight end in the flat for the check down on the side. Now this offense will be insanely explosive and it is built to put up a ton of points, but none of that will matter if you can't get stops on defense. So I have my brand new LOB Seahawks defensive scheme out that has insane lockdown coverages to confuse your opponent and lock them up. And we are gonna have a ton of blitzes to bring pressure in at the QB. So to check out my lockdown LOB defense, you need to watch this video right here.